morning family it's so wonderful to be with you once again and today is the second last day of our devotionals on the book of acts we are at devotional number 64 and it's been an amazing journey going through these 28 chapters of the book of acts together and my prayer is that it's really been an amazing journey for you as we close these last two days of devotionals i'd like to uh, share a little bit about you know what do we learn from the book of Acts today and tomorrow I'll be sharing two thoughts that I think are very very important with regards to a general overview of what I think we've learned during this time. The first principle I'd like to talk about this morning and I'll talk about the second uh, second one tomorrow but the first one is that God using his people. Um, it's so incredible if you read through the whole book of Acts, the different people that God used. You know, we, we think of uh, the early church began with Peter, who had betrayed the Lord, but yet on the day of Pentecost was used powerfully to preach the gospel for the first time in a public sphere like he did. And then we saw the nations of the earth that had been gathered in Jerusalem some of those, uh, I mean, representatives of those nations coming to Christ and then taking the gospel again, God using his people to take the gospel back to their own nations. It's amazing how God used, used you know, these simple fishermen um, like Peter and others to, to change the world and to turn the world upside down. Um, using them not only to teach and to preach, but also to heal the sick and to do miracles. And the same miracles that they'd seen Jesus do, they then uh, do the same miracles. You know. So the first thing I'd like to highlight is the book of Acts is all about God using his people. He has a, he, he's intent on using you and me to make his name known. And, um, and so we need to avail ourselves in the same way that they did, saying, here am I, Lord, send me. And, and basically, it's a, this is the story of, of the book of the, the Bible as such, God using his people. But it's so clear in the book of Acts. And then we see other different people coming on the scene. Of course, Paul, a soul who, who was this persecutor, but God then uses him, chooses him. And then God uses him extraordinarily. Um, other people as well that we used in different times, business people, government people, God uses his people. And the second thing I'd like to, to say is not only does in the book of Acts do we, do we read about God using his people, but we read about God accomplishing his purposes, his plans. You know, he had when he when he first when he went up to heaven, he said, you know, you, you to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. That was his purpose. That's what he wanted to see happen, and he did. He he used his his people for his plans, for his purposes, and everyone was given to that plan and to that purpose. They didn't live for themselves, but they really lived for the purposes of God. And you see that same submit submissiveness, that humility that was in Jesus, submitting himself to the will of the Father. You see that through the, the lives of the apostles time and time again, through the early church, them submitting themselves to God's purposes. Whenever there was a word from God, whether it be through a prophet, um, you know, or just through the different instructions or indications that were given when the council met or when they the leaders came together and prayed, you know, God would reveal, okay, send this person this way, um, you know, send help. Uh, you would remember there was a famine prophesied, okay, send financial help to these people. And so all of it was about God accomplishing his purposes. And so I'd like to encourage you this morning with these two things. Be the person that God uses for his purposes. Give yourself to that every day. There's no higher calling than telling the Lord every day of your life, here am I, Lord, whatever you want to do with me. I am available. That is what, what God has called us to do. Not to live for ourselves, but to live for his plans and purposes. And whether, whether you know, if we don't listen, God will accomplish it anyway. In the last verse of uh, Acts 28, we read um, that Paul says to the Jews, Therefore I want to, you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles and they will listen. 
And so in the end, even the plan that God has for the world, he wanted to do it through the Jews. But because they were not willing, he use, uses the Gentiles. And he says, they will listen. They will listen. So at the end, God's purposes and plans will be and are being fulfilled. And so I'd like to encourage you, live for him and be the person that he can use anytime, anywhere uh, to accomplish whatever he wants. Let us pray together. Father, thank you that as we read this book of Acts. Thank you for the amazing examples that we read about of men and women given over to you. Help us, Lord, to be that way, to give ourselves to you fully so that your purposes and plans would be accomplished in us and through us for the extent and the growth of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you tomorrow morning as we share the last uh, devotional um, on the book of Acts. God bless you.